his shield eaten so much quicker now because I don't know why. They just said screw Olimar in this patch. But here we go, game number one. It's going to be Spirit Olympia with his inkling versus rival Zero Suit Samus here. Already off to a quick little start. Just a couple of exchanges and hits from both players. Rival not going to overextend. I really like the slow pace that they're starting off with. Really, neither player is familiar with each other, and neither of these characters are ones that you can really sleep on, meaning you can't really, like, okay, like, this matchup is terrible for you, I'm just gonna go in mm -hmm. and just obliterate you. No, you can't do that. You really have to take your time and pick apart your opponent piece by piece. A great conversion there from Rival. You can see him starting to pull ahead now, already 69% on Olympia. The one thing I do like that Rival is slowly bringing this game around is because he knows what Inkling's speed is like. He's actually started off the game using Inkling a little bit himself, then transitions to just solo zero suit. Ooh, what a catch there with the back air, putting Olympia in a really bad spot. The whip coming out, and he's going to edge guard again, throwing out the whip again. Beautiful air dodge back to the stage, making it back safely as well. That's one thing that ZSS kind of has a little bit over oh. for sure against Inkling is the fact that she has the speed, but also the disjoints. It gets an up B from the down smash, really good opportunity, but just to finish up that really quick thought. She is able to use neutral. She is able to use there. She does have a little bit of those options to cover against right. Inkling. But not only that, she has the speed to match against Inkling, which is something some characters can definitely struggle against. Yeah, definitely. As you said, the the uh, Zero Suit Samus has some good tools with like the whip. It's it's a little bit disjointed, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you use your Zare. Uh, Inkling doesn't have many disjoints. Her exactly. links aren't very long, so you're going to be able to keep her zoned out with those tools. Exactly. One thing Inkling is going to be relying against is back in here, but I'm not really seeing that from uh -oh. Olympia. What I am uh -oh. seeing is a flurry of uppers Looking coming like out from Smash Rival. Force. I like that. Comes back around with a flip kick. Great odds yeah, to kind of confuse Olympia. Lots of damage. After he had no guaranteed follow-up right there, he gets the read with the uh, flip kick and just continues to build this lead right here. 150% on his first stock still. Life nearly expired, but he's playing so beautifully around Olympia that he's just not even getting hit, using the flip kick to get himself out of disadvantage, mm -hmm. similar to like a quick attack, really. And you gotta be careful with it, too. I'll smash out of shield, we'll take the first stock. But you gotta be careful with the flip kick because it not only will it take your opponent, uh, or Zero Six Samus, out of disadvantage, but if you get hit by it, yeah. you get grounded, and then you might as well get KO'd. And exactly. there's that other boost kick already putting Rival up two stocks to one. At this point, right, he's got so much advantage that we kind of see Rival kind of sticking back a little bit. He doesn't have to make too much of the approaches here, but it's up to Olympia to go ahead and find an opportunity. All right, Rival kind of keeping a little bit pacey. He's letting Olympia come into his range here and then immediately moving away, trying to see how Olympia is going to react because he's the one in the hot seat. It's a Zare, doesn't follow up. Another oh, neutral air, nice but he sets up a combo nice. Oh, what a catch, dude. The air dodge in with up smash. Rival has this man read like a book. Exactly. And Olympia definitely went for that directional air dodge towards the platform because he doesn't want to get taken off stage and then immediately get edge guard the way you would be against the SS. So he knows what's at stake when he gets off stage against the SS. For Olympia here, he's kind of making sure, like, okay, I want to make sure I'm behind, right? I get my opportunity coming with a back air, but Rival takes the initiative. Having that disjoint, having that down smash, definitely really big against Olympia. Yeah, and a huge conversion, too, uh, following up with the neutral air and getting a back air to boot. Not only racking up tons of damage, but putting Olympia off stage. Good parry there. Knowing that Inklings love to go for that roller, does not going to give him that time of the day to go for that option. On the return, looking for the flip kick. Rival has a lot of the control here, and it's nice. all because of that aerial game that he's playing here. He's making sure his time is spent in the air alongside Inkling is even, but the damage he's dealing is not. Nice, f tilt putting Olympia back off stage here. And still just securing this lead as that 100% on the second stock. That back air not gonna be enough. Ooh, just narrowly avoiding that down smash from good, Olympia. Good stuff from Olympia too. He threw the spot bomb to cover that actual option, and then immediately tried to react to it, but unfortunately the only person Who's going to react here is Rival with that great back air in game one. Rival is really making so much use of these back airs. Not only, I mean, he's just kind of like throwing it out in the neutral because mm -hmm. it's a really good option to wall out your opponent with as well. But Look. he's getting these reads, right? He's hitting that neutral air or he's hitting that Zare, getting those down smashes, finding a neutral air, and then knocking his opponent out of his jump with yeah. the back air. Like very, very good stuff from Rival right here. Looks like uh, maybe 100 Thieves should sponsor this guy, right? Like, I'm not, look, he looks fresh in that yeah. jersey. I'm I, not going to lie. Dude, I'm he not going to lie. When he walked up, I was like, that kind of looks like Rival from the back. But, dude, this guy looks pro. He's he does, he, he, look, he has the pro esports look. Sure, 
He actually has the police. Oh, he, thieves. he has the haircut, the pick shoes, the, jer the jersey. Even if you don't pick him up as a sponsor, yeah. pick this man up for his game, man. Let him model for your clothing. He looks flying. Yeah, absolutely. But in the meantime, we are going to kick off game number two here on Town and City. That's going to be the counter pick from Olympia. Really interesting. Uh, wider stage. I can definitely see him wanting to make use of the roller more here. However, uh, the stocks are not going to be able to like take it as easily off the yeah. top. Exactly. One of the things they did to the stage is honestly give it a bigger blast. So probably at this point, right, eight months and eight months, eight to nine months almost oh, oh, in this game. I'll nice. smash. That'll Charge do it. Charge that up, smash. Really good stuff. Perfect punish from Olympia, and he's got a really solid lead right here, using the roller to give himself that horizontal distance as a recovery. That's a really interesting thing about Inkling is that he has so many tools to recover. That roller actually allows him to get closer to the stage without his expending his double jump. It almost mm -hmm. gives him a uh, a third jump when you cancel the roller. Actually, exactly. Yeah. Before I tell trying to make his way back in here. Footing. Olympia at the ledge, and he Good finds stuff. that back air, just keeping him trapped there. And continuing the pressure until Olympia had no option whatsoever. That's usually the option, right, yeah. that we do see some, some players. They like to jump from the platform, especially for Olympia. He didn't want to reset himself at the ledge, so he kind of picked the option poorly here, but he's doing so far so good here. But the percent's kind of getting close. Yeah, actually, Rival almost taking it back for a little bit, but Olympia bringing it right back into his own court right away. Good spacing here. Looking for the opportunity to go for that the stun gun. Yeah, and the percent differential might not matter too much. Yeah, after all, it's it's all about the conversions. Either player could really lose a stock right here if their opponent plays their cards right. Exactly right. You can have the percent lead, but when it comes down to getting conversions, that could be the one thing that makes a difference. Not only that stage control, look at how much Rival has definitely lured Olympia to respect him, especially when he's at the platform, especially how we saw that back air earlier. Good side B. Yeah. He put Olympia off the stage. He's making sure he's got a hitbox out there for Olympia to watch out for. Speaking of stage control, too, you see that Inkling uses the roller on the ground, and even if it doesn't hit, finding that up smash, though, putting Rival on his final stock here, game two. Even if the roller doesn't hit, it does put Ink on the ground, yep. which means that your opponent has to now maneuver around it. They move slower over exactly. that terrain. But Rival bringing it back to a last stock situation here. This is what he's going to need. But Olympia bringing this into his favor with the quick conversion off of the grab. Uh, you know that Inkling has no shortage of those whatsoever. No shortage of this full connection with the jab oh, and a, man, almost a full dude. inkage on ZSS. That's that's so rough, dude. That that rapid jab, if you get hit by it, it not only does it do a substantial amount of damage, 20 plus, but it almost fully inks your opponent, which means that you're going to eat more damage and take more knockback. Exactly. And we kind of saw Rival kind of sticking back on that platform, knowing that he can maneuver around Inkling. The one thing I want to see Olympia is try to make the approach and then call him out for it. But Rival tried to go for the classic Smash 4 combo, but he missed the opportunity. That would have been nice to see and finish off the game. Would have definitely caught Olympia off guard. Now we're down to the wire right here. Rival trailing ever so slightly, trying to find this one opening, oh. the Zair to forward air, continuing to pressure off stage. That whip finding its mark, and he chases him deep into the top of the blast zone. I like that. He's not afraid to go off stage. He knows what tools he has with ZSS. Yes. Giving Olympia too much uh -oh. time to recover is We're not what he here. wants. And okay. I, that's where I would have loved to see a rival actually pursue him. Oh, no, oh. that's going to be it. Olympia bringing it back, putting himself on the board. One to one here. Good stuff from Rival, yeah. keeping himself composed. I know Olympia had a little bit of a small pop off there because he knows what he fought for. But Rival making sure, hey man, look, I just lost the game. I wasn't too far off. Maybe I was going for those edge guards a little bit too often. The one thing that I did like for Rival, he made sure that the threat was always there against Olympia. But the one thing I wanted to see him do here is to make sure that even if he's going for those edge guards, make sure they have more meaning. If he's going to force Olympia down to the bottom of the stage, have an edge guard in place for that. That's kind of one thing I kind of wanted to see him do with his options. All right, man. If you guys aren't enjoying Switch Fest just yet, I got to tell you, you're out of your damn mind. This set, already explosive. The first one, really great as well. And we're still not even into the upper echelon of these pools. We haven't even yeah. seen our top players. These are, you know, our, our, our local heroes yeah. putting in the work for us right exactly. here. Exactly. Rival so definitely a great opener here, especially alongside Lord Bahamut. Two SoCal players. Game three here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's see who is going to come out victorious. I know both of them really want it. 
again, just starting off similar to game number one where both players are kind of starting off slow, trying to find their groove here. And it seems like Rival it really coming into his own when he's got Olympia at the ledge. His ledge trapping has been absolutely on point. He finds the, the uh, flip kick, or no, he's just going to charge a forward smash because he doesn't really have any guaranteed exactly. punish that's going to actually find him the KO. So and that's one thing that we do damage. see that makes uh, the players from separates the players from in terms of experience, right? Like, you don't want to go for those kill options right away. You kind of want to make sure they're fresh as possible. So sometimes you go for percent. I do like the fact that Rebel took the time to go for that back air, knowing that one of Olympia's only options was going to be Roller. He's keeping up the Relentless Fury here, but that side view is something Olympia has to respect, right? It's got that space, it's got that disjoint. It's speed and it's kill power pretty big, especially at the ledge. Yeah, and, it, and Rival, like, had a fantastic call out right there because he just caught in oh, the flashing coming. And he didn't get out, and Rival's mashing. Rival, getting away by the skin of his teeth, man. Yep. That man literally just had to let him live for that stock for free. Unfortunately, Olympia thought he was close enough for that oh, up smash to man. connect. Man, dude, those are the kind of moments oh. that really are detrimental to a player's mindset, right? I'm seeing Olympia go for three up smashes here at this point, and I understand his frustration, right? You got ZSS at such a high percent. You haven't gotten the stock, right? You want this game of arrival, but one thing you have to remember is the fight itself is important. If you start to only see the victory, you might be trying to go for those up smashes a little bit too often. Nice, I like that lead trap there. Forcing out the air dodge onto the stage with a back air and then F tilting them back off the stage. This is what I'm talking about. Rival is shining when it comes to the ledge trapping mm -hmm. phase, the edge guarding phase. And On stage, it's pretty even, but as long as Rival can keep him boxed up, the read with the down smash, catching the roll in, and he finds a second stock. Three to one now, 159% on Rival. Yeah, Olympia kind of caught slipping there, especially trying to not be able to even recover ink. And it's all because he tried to go for an out smash on a shield option. And like I mentioned earlier, Rival's not going to go ahead and make sure he makes the same mistakes. As we can tell right now, he's making sure he has the spacing. He has all these other opportunities he missed out the last game. Here's the good stun gun, but he doesn't get a follow-up after the Paralyzer. Okay. And uh, Olympia trying to make his way back in. He did take that stock with an up air, catching uh, Rival without a jump in the, near the blast zone. Very high percent. However, he's taking a ton of percent himself, throwing the splat bug back onto the stage. I like it. Uh, a way to relieve some I pressure, love. but you can't land in front of your opponent like that. Bro. I mean, that's the thing that Rival kind of did at this different edge guard, right? I said, I, you should go out there with more meaning. Throw out forward air to force Olympia to go for a different option. Yeah. Flip kick and understand the option that Olympia was going to go for was that one spot that he marked with the down yeah. smash. And that was a great confirm for Rival. That was really well played, honestly. Absolutely. Good stuff. Really good stuff for both Look, players let me, let me here. Just show, hold on. Nice let me, game three. Let me just show you man, this man's game. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. He should be modeling for them. Ooh. He should legitimately be modeling for shoes, them. Dude. Look at that. Look. Fly. Fly. Nice kick. Absolutely fly. Nice nothing kicks, nothing less than short of fly. Absolutely. I think you fix the camera. We're fly too, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Gotta, gotta, gotta look at us, bro. Oh, you're well, a little tall, bro. That's, that's what I'm telling you. I'm, that's, <laughs> it's, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time, you know, when you're six feet. Um, but that was going to be, of course, Rival versus Olympia. Rival would advance to fight Zion. Zion, they're going to buy in with the DQ um, against Tonic. So that's going to be Rival's um, round two. Zion, a player from SoCal as well. Uh, I do know he uses Joker, and I know sometimes I've seen him use Hero a couple times here, but that's not going to be the one we're going to be watching next. 